Hello, this is Richard, and I have some mail. Dear Richard, I found out that I work with another Lego YouTuber, Small World, but I know that they don't know they do. There's a strong chance the person would be embarrassed and delete his channel if I approached him about it. Should I do so anyway? Well, anonymous user, I say yes, you should do it anyway. After all, you're both doing the same thing for probably similar reasons. I mean, you're an adult, they're an adult. You're building Lego, they're building Lego. So why would they be embarrassed because they're doing the same thing you are? See what I mean? I mean, you instantly have something in common with them, so you might make another friend. And you can't have too many friends in the world. Well, sometimes you can. So yes, I say you should. You should approach this person. I mean, you don't even have to tell them that you know that they have a YouTube channel. You could just say, I heard through the grapevine that you like Lego and I have this great YouTube channel. You Why don't you check it out? And they might just say, hey, I have a YouTube channel too. Wouldn't that be great? Anyway, don't be shy. Give it a go. That's what I say. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? If they do get embarrassed and delete their channel, is that the end of the world? No. It's not the end of the world. So go for it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And always remember, words can be weapons, but they should always be used for good. This is Richard Dictionary Head, and see you again next time. Thanks for watching.